going on here tonight. And I'll tell you, if there's ever been a time we need to be more committed and true to Jesus, it is right now. Because I dare, hallelujah, I, I shudder in fear to see the day come to where it says, I believe in Amos, that there will be a famine in the land for the hearing of the Word of God. I shudder in fear to think of that day ever coming upon us to where we can hear the Word of God freely. Church, He is pleading with us, not only the lost, but the born again. We've got to give back to serving Him, to living for Him, living a holy, righteous life. We've got to stop playing church and start being the church. We've got to start lifting Jesus up and quit lifting each other up, praise God. And what I mean by that is quit lifting each other up in self and pride and selfishness. Praise God, lift Jesus up. Every time we assemble ourselves together, it needs to be to lift Him up. Because if we lift Him up, praise God. He'll send His glory down. Amen. 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 And I feel in my heart tonight so much, we've got to get back. We talk about revival all the time. We talk oh. about we need it. Praise God. We need a revival in ourselves tonight, church. Come on. We need to get real about this and quit playing. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why He says, when you get oh, as a child, you put away childish things. But when you become an adult and you mature, praise God, you seek after the things, the mature things in God. Hallelujah. You want the meat of the Word and not just the milk anymore. Come on. How many is ready for the meat of the Word? Amen. And not the milk anymore. Come on. I'm ready, praise God, Brother Billy, for revelations, praise Come God, on. that only come from Him, praise God, yeah. that that revelation can be spoken over the body that will bring deliverance today, amen to God. That's what I'm ready for. I'm ready to see signs, wonders, and miracles happen like Jesus promised us. That's what he said, didn't he, brother? Amen. I'm ready to see the sick healed. Come on. I'm not talking about reading about it, what he did. I'm not talking about one day in the sweet by and by. I'm ready to see it now. Amen. I'm ready to see people be delivered from demonic oppression. I'm ready to see people be set free from the spirit of depression. Amen. Come on. I'm talking not only about the lost, but the saved. Amen. I'm ready to see people quit relying on drugs for their way out, for their peace of mind. Jesus is our peace. Amen to God. On. He's an ever-present help in time of trouble. Amen. He says, call upon me and I'll help you, praise God. Amen. Simon Peter had it right. Hallelujah. God, just have your way tonight. Come Hallelujah. On. We're just going to go by the way you lead. Amen. Simon Peter cried out, Amen to God, when he was sinking in the sea. He Whoa. said, Lord, save me. And that's what God is saying tonight. Amen. Save me. Hallelujah. Call out, save me, Lord. Yes. Save me, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. That's good. Life beats you up enough. Amen, Amen to God. But that's why Jesus made a way out. Amen. Praise God. That's why He says if you come to Him, He'll keep you safe under His wings. Come on. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Go over to God. He oh, wants to put His wings hallelujah. over you tonight and keep you safe. Hallelujah. You know how a mother hen will protect her chicks. Come on. Somebody coming after them, she's going to buck up and go after them. Oh. Jesus is saying you get under my wings. Praise God. Oh, and the devil hallelujah. can't bother hallelujah. you. Praise God. No attack from any demonic oppression can come now. Because you're under His wings tonight. Amen. And that's where we need to get back to. Under the wings, amen, to God of Jesus. Praise God. Because He loves us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go with me tonight in the Bible. To Deuteronomy chapter 6. We're going to be at several different places tonight. Like I said, I'm not going to keep you long tonight. Because, hallelujah, God. Whoo. Oh, I tell you. Praise my, God. My, my. The modern churches today, Brother Billy. When he gotten so mad with what's been going on, they said, well, we didn't follow what the program said. Oh. And they printed it out, amen to God. Yeah. How could you not follow it? Well, you know what? It's time we follow what Jesus says. Come on. Amen. I'm tired amen. of all my routines and time clocks, amen to God. If we go over by ten minutes, don't have a fit, praise God. Oh. Let God be God, amen. Amen. Praise God. Deuteronomy chapter 6, beginning in verse 4. In the name of Jesus, we're going to read this from the King James Version. Amen. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Amen. Amen. Verse 5, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Let me ask you tonight, do you love the Lord with all your heart? Come on. He said, With all thy soul. Do you love Him with all your soul? Come on. 
and with all thy might. Yeah. That's a personal question you can ask yourself tonight. Do you love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, mind, body, everything within you? Do you love Him? Amen. Are you willing to go above and beyond if Jesus said so? Amen? Now go with me to 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now keep Deuteronomy in mind though. Amen to God. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. And it says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. Hallelujah. Come on. What did he say? Be an example of the believers. In what? In word. In conversation. In charity, which means love. In spirit, in faith, in purity. Be an example <coughs> of the believers. Amen. Come on. So I'm telling you tonight, the visitation we have with the Lord that's still here. How many still feel the presence of the Lord oh, in this place? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just tell Him you love Him right now. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we love you tonight, Jesus. Lord, to your name. He is wanting us hallelujah. to get back to serving Him. He is wanting us tonight to get back to walking the walk. Amen. Amen to God. Not just talking the talk, but walking the walk as well. Practice what you preach. Amen, Amen to God. Amen. If you're going to proclaim something to somebody, you need to be living it as well. Amen. Come on. We need to take our Christian walk seriously and quit just making it out to be Sunday morning, Sunday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, whatever you have during Amen. the week. Amen to God. We need to quit being about just one or two days, and we need to be about it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Can I get an amen from somebody? Amen. Praise God. I'm talking about being committed to Jesus tonight and not just walking around putting on a show for folks. Amen? Amen. So I want to ask you this question tonight. And you can ask yourself too. Is Jesus your hobby or is He your lifestyle? Come on. Let me say that again. Is Jesus is He a hobby to you or is He your lifestyle? Praise God. Is He, amen to God, everything He said He is? Praise God to you. Or do you just put on the show like He's a hobby? Stamp collecting is a hobby. Come on. You do it for so long and then you quit. Yeah. Like sounds like the modern church. They go, amen to God, to get tickled enough. And then when they're done getting tickled, they leave. Come on. So is Jesus your hobby or your lifestyle? Amen to God. I want you tonight... To remember back when you first was born again. When you first fell in love with Jesus. Remember how good it felt? You wanted to go win the whole world for His name's sake. Amen. How many was like that? Amen. Amen. Or was it just me? How oh. many felt like you could went to hell with a water pistol and put out the flames? Amen. Amen. How many felt like nothing, no matter what adversity come your way, you was a believer. Hey, amen to God. When you got filled with the Holy Ghost, you was ready to tackle anything. Praise God. No challenge was too big for you. Amen to God. No mountain too high. No valley too low. Because you had Jesus. Amen to God. You knew where your source of strength came from. Amen, brother. Hallelujah to God. You knew where your source came from. And you just was depending on Jesus for each and everything, every day, every moment of your life. Come How on. many remembers that? Amen. How many wants to get back to that? Come on. He said you can. Amen. All we got to do is follow Him. So that's why I said, is Jesus your hobby or is He your lifestyle? Father, we come before you now once again. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you're not done tonight. Move, Lord, over each person's heart, dear God, in this place tonight. Lord God, help us to Lord just God, come back to the God. foot of the cross, Lord God, and return back to you, dear God. Renew Lord our God, love. Make it burn hotter than it ever has, Lord. Lord God, we ask Lord you for God, that, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord, in the remainder of the service tonight. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Amen. How many is proud tonight to be a Christian? Come on. Amen. How many was so glad? When he said, follow me. Yeah. How many? Amen. Do you remember that moment? Yeah. Mary, can you can you just picture in your in your natural mind Simon Peter when Jesus approached him? Simon Peter was a rough man, amen. Amen. A big old burly fisherman. Man, fishermen back then they said would cuss 
Make a sailor blush. Come on. When Jesus, the very God in the very flesh, amen to God, Come came on. down. And he approached Simon Peter and he said, Follow me. Come on. I'll make you fishers of men. Yeah. That just got him down. I mean, can you just imagine Simon Peter being this big old burly fisherman? And Jesus said, Follow me. Come on. He says, I'm unworthy, Lord. I'm a yeah. sinner. But Jesus looked past that. Amen. He says, I see something in him. Come on. You have a little shut up. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He's saying tonight, He sees something in each and every one of us. Follow me. And I'll make you fishers of men, and women, and children. Amen. Come on. Remember that? Can you imagine how excited Peter was? That's where, praise God, God wants us to stay at. He wants us to stay in that moment, praise God, to where when we first start following Him, He wants us to be that way, not just only then, but now and each and every day until either we go by the way of the grave or He comes back, amen to God. We can be like that. I believe that. I believe our fire can be burning hotter than it ever was, praise oh. God, for Him. Amen. I believe, praise God, when Jeremiah said, it's like a fire shut up in my bones. I believe even for us today, praise God. Amen. Praise God, because when He ascended up, praise God, He sent the Comforter down, praise God, the Holy Ghost down, praise God, to dwell in each and every one of us, because He said we are the temple. I said we're the temple. I said we're the temple Whoa. of the Holy Ghost. Somebody help me preach. Come on, Glory amen. To God. He's dwelling in each and every one of us tonight. Amen. Brother Mike, I'm tired. Well, praise God, He can revive you. Amen to God. He said, come unto me, I'll give you the burden of the heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Amen to God. Amen. Praise God, there ain't nothing, no problem too great that you have that He can't fix. There's no problem you don't have the answer for that He can't give you the answer from the Word of God. Amen. Come on. Amen. I'm tired of people saying the name. Well, Brother Mike, I don't, amen to God, have the answer to the problem. I don't have the solution to it. Well, seek Jesus and He's in solution. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to give you the definition, two definitions actually, of what hobby is and what lifestyle is. Amen? Come on. Is that all right? Amen. The Webster said that a hobby is an activity or an interest pursued for a pleasure or a relaxation and not as a main occupation. Boy, that can hit most of the church today, amen? Say it again. It's an activity or an interest pursued for a pleasure or a relaxation and not as a main occupation. Amen. Now that right there is a hobby. A hobby is something you do for just a short amount of time. We get, like I said, stamp collecting. Amen to God. Scrapbooking, that's a hobby. Amen. Sewing. Yeah. Knitting, amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Sporting, working out, all that stuff. That's just a hobby. Gives us a little bit of pleasure for a moment. Amen. Almost sounds like sin, don't it? Yeah. Sin that gives you pleasure for Anything. just a season, amen to yeah. God. And then destruction comes. Hallelujah. I wish somebody grab a hold of that, praise God. Oh, amen to God. A lot of our hobbies today can be almost counted like sin because it's okay, it's pleasurable for that season, amen to God. You're having a good old time. The alcoholic says, well, I'm having a good old time with my friends, praise God. We're going to go out and put one on, praise God. Yeah, but you don't tell, they don't tell you. The next morning you're sticking over a commode, throwing oh. your guts up, having the commode hugging blues, amen, amen. to God. I'm telling you right now, sin will take you so far, praise God, make you pay more than you want to pay, yeah. take more from you than you want to give. I'll tell you, the devil ain't no, amen to God, the devil is out to tear you down, kill you, bankrupt you, praise God, the <coughs> devil is no respecter of person. Can I get somebody to help me preach that, amen to God? Amen. God is no respecter of persons and so is the devil. The Come devil on. don't respect, amen to God, who he puts pain on, who he puts torment oh. on, who he puts depression and oppression yeah. on, the devil wants to kill you. That's amen. what he's will. But God has come that you might have life. Oh, and you might have life. Oh, oh, I wish oh, somebody oh, would say amen tonight. Praise the Lord. I tell you tonight, we've got to get back to seeking Jesus, amen to God, and putting our foot down on the devil. Amen to God.
God, Jesus put him under his feet. That's what he wants you tonight. Take your foot and say, get under my feet, devil. Oh, Stop it down, praise God. God. Come on, get under my feet, devil. That's where you belong, oh, praise Jesus. God. Because we've got the victory. Come on. Hobbies, praise God. Hobby church is what I want to call it today, amen to God. We go for activities in the church. Well, I'm going to send my kids to the VBS. Come on. Praise God, they can babysit them so I ain't got to pay nobody to have to do it. And they'll get fed, amen to God, and they'll get some, praise God, some little stuff from the church, praise God. That's all we see church as today, amen to God. What they can do for me, amen to God. Well, let me tell you something. The church is not this building. It's not no denomination. It's not no corporate headquarters. Whoa. It is a body Hallelujah. with Jesus Christ heading it up as head, amen to God. Hallelujah. It's not a hobby lobby. Praise God. Whoa. train. Amen Whoa, to God. Hallelujah. No Hobby Lobby Church. Amen to God. Come on. I'm so sick and tired of people going to see. Amen to God. They're just going to hear certain preachers. Going to hear certain musicians. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Preacher, going man. to praise God just so they can be recognized by a committee board. Oh. Going so they can get what they can get. I want to come so I can be a blessing to somebody. Oh, praise God. Brother Mike, you can't preach this in normal churches. Praise God. You know what? Amen to God. Most churches don't want to hear this. Amen. They got their heads so far up each other's rear ends, they ain't even seen. Praise God. The devil's leading them into hell. Come on. I know that's blunt right there, but it's the truth. I respect what Jimmy Swagger says. Can I just be open tonight? Whoa. Is that okay, Brother Billy? Amen. Jimmy Swagger says, and if I misquote it, Please correct me, praise God. But I, it's years ago I heard him say this. He said, we have committee boards down at Family Worship Center. He said, but I tell you this, committee boards don't make the decision, praise God. We seek God in prayer for every decision that's made regarding the ministry, the way it's run, amen to God. Amen. And I think that's the way it should be today. Come we on. should sit back in our little board director suits, amen to God, acting like we're all that and then some. I think we ought to be on our face before God, saying, God, which way do you want us to go? What do you want us to do? We are your people, you are our God. Somebody say amen if Jesus is your God. Amen. It bothers me. It really, it really sickens me in my spirit that the church has come down to no more than a bunch of boardroom meetings. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Church is building bigger buildings and they can't even fill up what they got. Come on. For sure. We're going to build this big old facility. But if people would just scoot over a little bit and quit making a widespread out, amen to God, people could come in there and sit down and hear it, thus saith the Lord. Come on. Woo! Man, I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. Hobby Lobby churches. Amen to God. I'm glad I'm serving a God that never changes. I wish somebody would say amen on that if you believe that. Amen on that. Praise God. we got to be an example of believers, amen to God. If we're called by God, if He said, follow me, I'll make you fishers of men, we've got to be an example to those, amen to God, who are less, amen to God, strong as we are. Come on. Amen? Amen. Let me give you the definition of lifestyle according to the Websters. Amen. It says a typical way of living, reflecting attitudes, preferences, etc. of an individual or a group setting. Amen? I like that. Yeah. A typical way of living, reflecting attitudes. Glory to God. How many, praise God, got up with Jesus on your mind? Come on. How many, when you was praying earlier, got up with Jesus on your mind? Oh, hallelujah. Or how many got up with, praise God, what I'm going to eat when I leave from here when Brother Mike shuts up? Come on. Amen? Amen. How many says, well, I'm glad he don't come all the time, praise God, because we don't have to hear him. Come Amen. I, hallelujah. Nobody didn't say that. So thank you, Jesus. I tell you, we've got to get back to a lifestyle of righteousness and holy living again. Amen. You said, Brother Mike, are you preaching legalism? No, I'm not. But I'm telling you today. God expects us to live certain ways. Come on. He expects us, amen to God, we may have to be in this world, 
But we don't have to be of the world. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. We don't have to be conformed to this world. Amen. We are separate from the world. Praise God. When somebody says, Are you a child of God? Yes, I am. I am a born again, Holy Ghost filled, blood bought, tongue talking, amen to God, born again, child of the Most High God, and my God's name is Jesus. Amen to God. And if that offends folks, me saying Jesus, let me say it one more time. Jesus, amen, amen. to God. I've been so tired of people saying, In the name, hallelujah. We pray in your name. Why don't you what is why are you so scared to say the name for? Come on. Why are people so scared to say Jesus? Amen to God. I've never heard of such garbage in my life. In your name. Say the name. What's his name, church? Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Jesus. And for a third time. Jesus. Next year I'll say it four times. Amen to God. Come on. Because I love that name. That name sets you free. Why not say the name, praise God? Why would you want to stay handcuffed to something if somebody gave you the key? Come on. Amen, baby. Amen. That's the truth. Why would you want to stay in, in handcuffs? Amen to God. If somebody said, here, here's the key to set you free. And yeah. that's his name, church. Amen. Amen. Oh, go over to God. You want to be free? Speak his name over your situation. And he'll set you free. I'm not just I'm not being crazy with this. That's the word, amen to God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I've got the key already. Now I said, why don't you unlock your handcuffs? <laughs> amen to God. Quit staying chained to that bondage. Hallelujah. So hobbies and lifestyles, praise God. What are you in tonight? Are you into hobby? Amen to God. Or are you living a lifestyle pleasing unto the Lord? Amen. Praise God. We've got to do that. Hallelujah. When others are around us, praise God. Do praise God. Do, do, do we do stuff to make God happy? Or do we do stuff to make God sad? How many says you want to do stuff to make God happy? Come on. Amen. Amen. When people, amen to God, make mention of you in a conversation, what are you known by? Amen. Come on. That's right. When they say, well, you see Brother Billy coming, do they say, well, oh, he's one of them hypocritical preachers. Come on. Or do they say he's one of those preachers that praise God, will you stop him and say, can you pray for me? He'll pray for you right then and there. If he's, amen to God, if they're hungry, well, he'll do all he can to help you out. I'm not doing that to lift up Brother Billy, praise God. I'm just using it as an example. <clears throat> praise God, what do people say when they hear your name or when they see you, praise God? Are you a reflection of Jesus, amen to God, or are you a reflection of the devil? Come on. You're either, amen to God, you've got a father, which is the Lord, or you've got a father, which is the devil. You ain't no middle ground there, amen? amen. You're either amen. your father the Lord, or your father the devil. I didn't say that the Word said it, amen? Come on. Is Jesus your lifestyle, or is He just your hobby? Praise God. Is He just that hobby that makes you, praise God, feel good on Sunday mornings and Sunday nights that will appease your conscience of all the sin you've done? Come on. You come in and sit down, and amen to God, you sing Amazing Grace, Blessed Assurance, bring it in the sheaves. You'll give what little change you got in your pocket because you don't want to give none of that money in the bank. You'll just sling some out, amen to God, Come just on. to appease your conscience, amen to God. You'll shake the preacher's hand and you'll say, I got enough religion to do me till next Sunday. Yeah. And my conscience is at ease. Amen to God. Come on. You are deceived. Amen to God. Amen. You are deceived. Amen to God. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Amen to God. You think you can pull a wool over God's eyes? God knows your heart. Amen to God. Amen. Is He your lifestyle or is He your hobby? Somebody say, He's my lifestyle. Amen. My style. Amen. Praise God. Are you consistent in your walk with Jesus every day? Come on. Or are you just consistent with Him on Thanksgiving and Christmas, amen? Or on a special occasion? Is that the only time that you're a Christian, amen? Are you the same way in church as you are out in Walmart? Or if you feel the Spirit moving on you in Walmart, will you shout the glory now or will you be ashamed? The Word says if you're ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you before my Father. Amen? Amen. Is that all right? That's the truth. He said in Matthew 7, 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he, listen to this, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Those are the people that's going to inherit and go to, excuse me, go to heaven. Amen. It's those that do the will of God. What is His will? Praise God. Everything He told you in His Word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Amen to God. Come on. 
If your enemy strikes you on one cheek, give to him the other also. Go the extra mile, praise God. If somebody says, can you come and pick me up, praise God. I live a mile, mile further away from church. You ought to make the effort to go, amen, to God. You don't realize how much of a blessing you can be to somebody when you go out of your way just a little bit. Amen. God forbid we inconvenience you. Hallelujah. Come on. I was telling no boy this past week. He said, well, he said, I can't see, praise God, driving an hour there and an hour back to go preach, to go be around folks, amen to God. I said, well, praise God, let me tell you something. When God's in it, you'll do it. I don't care if he's saying go five hours one way, five hours another way, praise God. If God is in it, you'll do it. Amen. You'll go the extra mile, praise God. Hallelujah. God will somehow make a way, amen. I know half, amen to God, half the people know me up there think I'm crazy for driving an hour here and an hour back. I said, because I got to be obedient to Him. I said, I want to go where people really love Jesus, amen to God, and not just put on an act. Come on. Praise God. I've got to be around some faith believing folks, amen to God. People that exercise their faith and not ashamed, amen to God. I got to be around folks that pray, amen to God. I got to be around folks, amen to God, who let God have His way, amen to God. I got to be around folks that are stirring up the gifts within them, amen to God. Is that all right? Come on. Amen. Don't leave me, praise God. Help me now. Help me get this train going, glory to God. God has given us the tools we need, praise God, to walk this walk, amen to God, to walk it, not only talk it, but walk it, amen to God, to run this race by faith, amen to God, so amen. we're living a lifestyle pleasing unto the Lord. How many wants to please the Lord, amen? Come on. Obey His Word, amen to God. Amen. God has given us the Holy Ghost, amen to God. He's given us His Word. He's given us each other, praise God. He's given us grace and mercy. He's given us the blood of Jesus, amen to God, and the most important thing, He's given us the name. Amen? Come on. Giving all that to us, praise God. We can't say that we don't have no tools and no, uh, amen to God, nothing we need to can't overcome the devil, praise God, because I gave you a list of things right there, and there's plenty more, amen? Come on. We've got to have it all to be able to do what He's called us to do, amen? Amen. It's got to be a daily thing, a daily, amen to God. You've got to want to walk this walk daily, amen? Come on. If your brother is struggling or your sister is struggling, you've got to help them, amen to God. That's what He wants us to do. That's how amen. you know if you're really living a lifestyle pleasing to Jesus. Amen. Because if, if Brother Tyler gets down or gets somebody hurts him, it's our place, it's my place to come and say, Brother, let me encourage you in the Lord, amen come to on. God. Let me build you back up. That's why I believe Jesus sent them out by twos, amen to God. I believe He sent them out by twos because when one got down, the other could encourage him and lift him up and love him back, amen, come and on. vice versa. I believe that, praise God. It may be wrong, but that's what I personally think. I thank God, amen to God, you know, one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand, amen. Amen. I really think that we've got to encourage each other. We've got to say, praise God, it don't matter if it's 5 o'clock in the morning. You call me needing to talk to me. I need to get up and talk to you. Amen. Come on. Go and help your brothers and sisters, praise God. That's the way you're truly living like Jesus because Jesus went above and beyond to meet Amen. everybody's needs. Like I said earlier, anybody that called out to Him when He passed by, He met their need. Yes, it is. Amen. There is nowhere in Scripture that you will find that when they didn't ask Him to do something, praise God, He didn't. Amen. He came to meet your need. He came to set you free. Amen? All He wants you to do is love Him and love your neighbor. Amen? Come on. You see, on those two commandments right there hang all the rest. Amen? Thank God we're not bound in the law no more, but we're under grace. Look at your neighbor and say, thank Him for His grace. Thank you for His grace. Amen. The Word says we've got to be an example in the Word, praise God. In everyday life, praise God. In what we say to one another. You've got to be very careful what you say and do because people is watching. There's always somebody watching, praise God. Watching your, amen to God, your witness. How you act. How you handle situations, amen. Amen. If you fly off the handle and beat somebody to death with a baseball bat, hallelujah, and say, thank you, Jesus, something wrong there, amen? Come on. I know we get pushed sometimes, don't get me wrong. I know I've been pushed sometimes. I want to anoint that bat in the name of Jesus and start swinging and thinking it's the devil. Well, we can't do that. Come on. We can't do that. Somebody said we can't do that. Can't do that. 
Hallelujah. Get us in jail. Praise God. One brother said, well, if I go to jail, I can preach to the captains there. Well, praise God, you may not survive there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We've got to use common sense. Like I said, in our conversations, we've got to not talk. We, we can't talk those dirty jokes anymore. Praise God. We've got to live a lifestyle pleasing unto Him. Amen. Praise God.